let's create something really fancy. At the moment, when we click our button, we don't know anything's happened. I mean, Lollipop in Android tells us something's happened, kind of, but we want to scream to our user that we have actually done something. So, inside our set on click listener, underneath editor.commit, we're going to run a little animation. And we do this by typing animation, animation. Now, if animation turns red, this section, simply do command or option enter rather, and it will do the necessary imports for you, which in this case is android.view.animation. And we also have one for alpha animation. But don't worry, you can fill those in automatically in a second. So we say animation is equal to a new alpha animation. And this just simply animates the alpha, so how see-through your object is. And then it asks you for a from value and then to a to value. So we want to go from 1.0 F, and F stands for float, because this is a specific kind of number that it wants. And we are going to go to 0.0F and semicolon. Then we have to give that animation a duration. So we say animation dot duration or dot set duration. And this is in milliseconds. So 1000 milliseconds is equal to one second. Then once we've set it up, we have to apply it to our button. So we are going to say button dot start animation and then feed it the animation we just created. So now the button should fade out uh, within a second and then after that it'll pop back up and that will just let us know that it has been saved. So let's go ahead and try that. Let's open up the debugger and send it over to our app. And here we have our app up and running. So if I just type some rubbish, there we go, and I hit change, it's now saved that and it animates the button. Now I know as the user that something has happened and I would advise you in all of your apps to use animations, but think of animations as something not to use liberally, don't use them everywhere because it gets overwhelming, but simply sprinkle them on. They are the finish to your app. They are the icing on the cake. They are never the cake themselves. Because to use that analogy, if I ate icing all day, I would get sick. But it takes me a lot longer to get sick of just cake. So always think of animations as icing on the cake.